All right, buckle in, ladies and gentlemen. Big shout out to everybody watching us on ESPN2 and across all the online platforms. Two games away from crowning a Madden Bowl champion. We're going to fill that final. It is Pavin on offense first, the passer out of these two. And he's got Michael and Vick at quarterback going left side. We got defense Burn. on the first play. Picked off by Justin Reed. Come a little on. stop and go. One play, one Come touchdown. On. It's Joke putting it on the board. Oh my God, first play of the game and Joke with a pick six to take advantage up seven nothing. What a way to start this semifinal game. Oh my goodness. You can call him a runner, but first and foremost, Joke is the top defensive player in competitive men. And he starts off this Madden Bowl semifinal with a pick six to put him up 7-0 over the Madden 19 club champion. Let's take a look one more time at our Snickers intercepted replay TD straight up lurk. Pavin goes that little baby out route that he loves. Joke all over it with Justin Reed and some nasty stick work to take it to the crib. What a way to start the game if you're Joke. Well, if there's one consolation for Pavin, it can't get much worse as he throws it out to Kellen Winslow. This time, he finds the right team, pick it up six. Listen, we said these guys have played twice in big games before. Last year, Pavin beat Joke in the final eight of the club championship series, and Pavin went on to win 100,000 in the belt. And then just last week in group play, Pavin beat Joke on one of the most craziest endings we've ever seen. So Pavin has the advantage. Joke, when we talked to him, said he was going to make some adjustments. He had a little wrink couple wrinkles up his sleeve going up against Pavin's bunch. We'll see what Pavin can do here to retaliate. Second and four, pressure brought by Joke. He'll get outside of the pocket and look up the sidelines. That's Torrey Holt with the catch. Keeping the feet in bounds all the way up to the 44-yard line. Nice throw from Michael Vick. Excellent play right there by Pavin. And you know, Joke is known as an aggressive defensive player. He likes to bring the heat. He likes to blitz. You saw it there. Pavin had three routes up there. He basically had all three routes pretty open. He had the drag underneath. But he's able to wait. He was patient, and he hit that corner out on the sideline. John Ross coming in motion on first and 10. Bunch to the left side. Former Hokie, Mike Vick at quarterback. Rolling out right, looking down the sideline, but nobody went there. He'll throw that one away. TD, what does it do for the confidence of Joe to start off the game with a pick six? That is huge. And you know, Nick, we've talked to Joke, and he said if he feels like if he scores 13 points, he's going to win every game. And if you kind of get a pick six to start the game, you're already in complete control. You're in business. So for Joke's confidence must be through the roof right now. For Pavin, so far, a nice recovery. He hasn't overly panicked. He's got it down inside the 50-yard line. Vic looking right side. That one just a simple flat route to Kellen Winslow. Hits him with the stop, turnaround, and go. Put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. He's to the 26-yard line. Joe continuing to bring the pressure, and Pavin is recognizing it. He just throws a little baby out route to that Kellen Winslow, and we know that Kellen Winslow is so important to Pavin's offense. He uses him at fullback for some fullback dives, and then he throws to the flats right there for a nice pickup. It does look like Pavin may be coming out to give the ball to Kellen Winslow again. In that far tight slot form formation, he'll give it to Kellen Winslow. But you know, Joke, he knows how to stop the run being a runner himself. Yeah, you said it earlier, Nick. I think Joke is regarded as the top defensive player on the circuit in our sport. And you know, I'm going to say it. I think Joke is a top five defensive player of all time. And on that note, I think Joke is a top 10 uh, player of all time. You know, that one thing that he hasn't have is that belt that we've said so many times. But man, it's so hard to score on, on Joke when he's on defense. What a year Joke has had so far. 1,900 MCS points, fifth at the Madden Classic, third at the clubs, third at the challenge, yet no finals appearances. He's looking to make it the first finals appearance with a win here against Pavin. Second down and 11. Done tight slots formation as Vic drops back to pass. All the time in the world with only a three-man rush, he'll dump it underneath to Kellen Winslow. If you're Joke, are you comfortable just giving up those little three, four-yard underneath routes as opposed to the big play? Definitely. If you're a joke right now, you're in complete control. You're up seven. Now Palvin's getting close to that red zone. If you're a joke, you just want to hold him to three and get the ball. You're going to get ball at half, so you're in, you're in complete. You have the advantage in the game right now. So if you can hold him to three, it's definitely a win. He was looking for that corner route, but the pressure from the Miami Dolphin and former Ohio State Buckeye, Jerome Baker with the sack. You said Joke wanted to hold Pavin to three. Well, this is a 45-yard attempt to do just that. The kick is up, and it is good. We've got a 7-3 ball game. 
great defense. You know, with the coverage look and that Jerome Baker, that linebacker for the Miami Dolphins, who he's using here, has been so crucial in this tournament for a lot of guys. You know, not a bad drive by Pav, and he's able to retaliate, get some points on the board, but definitely a win for Joke. He's still got the lead, and he's getting and he's getting the ball on offense. Well, so the first time we're going to see get to see Joke come out offensively, and TD, there may be 11 players on the field for him, but there's only one that really matters to him, and it's Gale Sayers. Yeah, so for the viewers out there that are just tuning in, you know, we're in the salary cap mode. So we have a 1325 cap that guys can build their team. Each player has a certain cap limit. And Joke decided to stack his team on the offensive line, the defense, and his running back. So he doesn't have a quarterback. You're going to see Tressway, the punter at quarterback, a decent amount. You might see he has a, a low cap Eli Manning that can't really throw the ball. So you're just going to see him run every play. So if he gets into fourth down situations, he's automatically going to punt unless it's like fourth and one or fourth and two. But it's a very, it's a very sound, optimal strategy for from Madden 20. I know not, not a lot of people like it, but it's it's the way Joke it fits his strategy because he's such a good defensive player and, he, and he's not going to make he's not going to, you know, turn the ball over a lot with this type of offense. And on top of that because we are not only playing salary cap, but we're inside of Madden Ultimate Team, you're going to see a mix of current players, rookies, and legends of the past. Gail Sayers taking the carry left side. He'll pick up 5. There's that 98 overall Gale Sayers. And we've seen Pavin, you know, he's had good run defense. It's kind of been his weakness in the past, but he really has improved on defense every year, as you see him there with Ed Reed in the backfield. Great user play by Pavin. Able to shoot the gap. Madden, 20, all about those abilities. You saw the star underneath of some of the players. That indicates that they do have one of those superstar abilities. Third down and five, can Pavin get the stop he so sorely needs after a pick six on his first play? Third down and five, Armstead in motion from right to left. It's going to be Gale Sayers trying to find some room right side. He will pick up the first down, but that could have been much worse as there was a lot of green grass on the right side of the field. Yeah, and you know, Joke is kind of a savage when it comes to preparation and, and preparing for these tournaments. This guy, he will talk to everyone. He will find out everything. He knows everything. So I know he was up all night labbing for this run defense. He has all types of runs that can beat this defense. As you saw there, he used some nice motion blocking on that halfback dive. He's able to pick up a first down. Hand off to Sayers, left side, trying to get around Merton Hanks. Merton Hanks with the tackle. Shoestring. Here's what's crazy, TD, for a game that has been, you know, both criticized and, you know, praised for bringing back the run game and being a run-heavy uh, version of Madden. We only have one runner in the final four of the Madden Bowl, the biggest tournament of the year, as we hit the end of one. We really saw the meta uh, change as the year went on. You know, the year started in August at the Madden Classic. We saw that arm bar, that jukebox, and then we got into, you know, club championship. We saw Chris Johnson running wild. But now as we head into the later of the year, it's all about defense, in my opinion. I know there's only one runner left. But to me, you know, d -Croft, it's been his defense that's what's catapulted him. I know he's unique on offense. His offense is phenomenal. But his defense is really the story, especially in that game versus Clef. And then we know with these guys, Pavin improves on defense every game. And then Joke, as we already said, the best defensive player. So it's really come down to defense as we get later in the year. Yeah, how about the double-digit sacks for d -Croft against Clef the God in our first semifinal? Third down to two, Armstead in motion. Last time this was a run to the right. This time he'll stay right down the middle and he will pick up enough for a first down. So far we haven't seen the big play from Gale Sayers, but it's been five to six yards at a time and Joke is driving. Very methodical for Joke, and he's fine with that. Remember, he's getting the ball at half, and you'll see. He's got these big offensive linemen at tight end, at receiver. I think he's found a run that oh, works. Man. There Come goes on. the big play. Put on, on your yeah. wheel breakers, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a gale force win into the end zone. Joke puts up double-digit lead. And Joke reached that mark he wanted. He wanted 13 points, and he felt like he would win. He's at 14. Will One. that be enough? He's found some runs that really work versus Pavin's run defense, and now it's time for Pavin to answer. Joke putting points on the board with his defense, putting points on the board with his offense. So far, a great start for Joke as we take a look at this run. One more time, Tyler Davis. One cut, Gale's out. Staying in that single back, just a quick halfback dive, and he's using that speed boost all the way up the field for an easy touchdown. Gale Sayers, all that speed. And how about Joke right there? Off the touchdown, it seems like when he's able to score, the next play after the kickoff, it seems like he brings the fire defensively. 
That's joke style, man. He loves to bring the heat. Very aggressive, but he switches up here. Goes with a coverage look. Nobody opened downfield. It had a crosser, had a streak on the left side, and both of them. Double coverage plus. Third and ten upcoming. TD, it's early in this game, but this feels like a key moment for Pavin. Yeah, it's huge. You know, you know, when Pavin came into the game, a lot of people, and I talked to some guys last night, we were talking about this, you know, we thought Pavin was maybe a fluke. Who is this kid? But let me tell you, this kid is for real. He gets better each time he plays. I mean, he's won a belt. I think he's really clutch, and he's very in control. He's very disciplined when it comes to both sides of the ball. So, and Pavin's a fighter. I would expect to see him uh, stay in this game. We'll see what he can do on this big third and ten now. As Joke will take a timeout, we asked Pavin, you know, what, what has been your toughest game so far through the LCQ and the Madden Bowl? He said it was his last game against Kiv. He said at halftime he had to change his song, lock in, and mentally talk to himself and make some key adjustments on defense to get the ball back. And right now, down 14-3, to will he have to do the same thing against Joke? Back into that gun bunch, bunch to the left side as Cribs will come in motion. Michael Vick takes the snap. The lefty rolls out right. Looking for the corner out. That's Josh Cribs. Did he get it in bounds? Yes, he did. Give him 24 and a first down on third. Great job by Pavin right there. That corner out. He had a streak behind it to bring back the zones. He had a drag coming from the backside as well underneath. So Pavin uh, played underneath more, gave up that corner. Or Pavin was able to get that corner out on the sidelines for a big play. As Holt will take the drag route. That's a great way to deal with the pressure that Joke brings. His work underneath the offensive line so far has been able to pretty much handle the pressure, but for Pavin, it's trying to distinguish when Joke's bringing the pressure and when he's dropping back into coverage. This time the pressure picked up nicely. He'll get outside the pocket. How many times have we seen Michael Vick make big plays like that? He loves that Mike Vick. He's so good with him. I would, I would put him up there as one of the best Mike Vick users, I'm talking about Pavin. You know, we really have a chess match going on right now. Joke, I really like what he's doing. He's come out in this nickel normal formation this game. You haven't seen a lot of him uh, running that this year. He, I know he liked it at the beginning of the year, but he's mixing up coverage as well. But Pavin is really uh, fighting back too. And you know, he recognized the blitz coming there. He's able to roll out and get a big first down with Mike Vick. Three-man rush from Joke on first and ten. Vick will take off and slide down. One important note, though, TD. Joke just used his final timeout of the half. He'll have none if he gets the ball back. Yeah, very interesting decision. But I think Joke is very comfortable with this 11-point lead, so he's fine with using his timeouts. He can't take them with him with you to halftime, so he's all right with using them right now. Second and four. He'll get outside the pocket one more time with Vick. You know, we talked about Joke, how... He's one of the top defensive players, TD. He's been so good being aggressive and bringing the blitz, but right now his coverage is standing strong. Yeah, and he went with a match concept there. So what that is, it's a zone look, but it, it kind of turns into a man defense when they, the, the corners of the secondary match onto your receivers. We've seen it a lot with Decroft, a lot of the guys using it here in this tournament. Joke mixing it in. He's mixing a lot of coverages up right now. He's blitzing, playing some cover two looks, cross manning, and then the match concept. So he's really making it difficult for Pavin to predict what he's going to do. Now he goes into the 1-4-6. We'll see if Pavin has an answer for it. Vick on third and four. Look at left side. There's Torrey Holt. Talk about the key player for Pavin's run through the LCQ and the Madden Bowl. It's been that Torrey Holt who's made big catch after big catch. We hit the two-minute warning. Torrey Holt has been Pavin's whole offense man besides that Mike Vick. And he's got those abilities on him, so that playmaker ability allows him to kind of move him up the field if he wants to. You just flick your right stick up or left, and he can go wherever you want. And he's been a big component of Pavin's offense. You see playmaker Holt back right that time, but uses Vick to pick up five. The chess match continues. Who will make it to the Madden Bowl final? And get the right to face D. Croft to be crowned Madden 20 champion. Second down and five. Vic in the shotgun. Jalen Samuels, 10 cap running back. Not going to see him used a whole lot in anything but pass, bro. Maybe he'll catch one pass in this entire game. Three man rush from Joe. Dancing in the pocket. Or He'll be taken down to the 27-yard line. Who else but Jerome Baker containing Michael Vick once again? This is such a chess match going on right now. So what Pavin's doing, he's trying to audible to that Snugs flip look. And, turn, and then so it kind of catches Joke off guard. And it turns into kind of a bunch look. Then he audibles to bunch. So Joke is forced to kind of reset his play to line up correctly. So both these guys doing a lot of adjustments. A lot of strategy going on right here. This is high-level Madden. Third and seven. Pavin doesn't want to have to settle for another field goal on a good drive. 
but no one's open downfield. He'll throw it back across the middle. That's the route that's gotten him a couple big first downs throughout this tournament. The delay from Kellen Winslow. Man, that has been the route of Madden 20, the delayed fade. We've seen it so many times. It can be a backbreaker because you, you think you have everything covered, and then all of a sudden, at the last second out of nowhere, you can release the tight end on that fade route, and Pavin executes it perfectly for a big first down. Clock running down in the first half. We're under a minute to go and counting. Vic dropping back. Pressure is picked up nicely. He'll find Kellen Winslow, as TD would call that baby out route one more time. There's the baby out route to the tight end. I love that route. Joke decided to bring the heat right there. Pavin recognized it quickly. And if Pavin can get seven here, this is a huge momentum uh, change to go into the half. Second and seven. Vic, all the time in the world, and then all that time got shut down as Dwight Freeney came around the edge. Yeah, great defense right there. Those sheds came through off the edge, and this is a big play in the game now. If you're Joke, you have to hold him to three, and if you're Pavin, you really want to get a touchdown. You don't want to come out of here with a field goal, but third and 14 in the red zone is very difficult. 20 seconds remaining in the half. A frantic pace. Here in our second semifinal. Good block on the edge. Vic gets outside. Oh, his receiver didn't in. continue the Come route. Pavin's going, why isn't RB keep running with me? Fourth and five in decision time. Wow, you guys both nailed it. You and Pavin. The, the post route stopped running. He might have had a touchdown if he would have passed that safety, and he stopped running. Pavin had no choice but to run with Vic, and Joke holds him to the field goal he needed. But Pavin's sitting there going, in Raider Nation, you know Coach Gruden would have pulled that receiver to the sidelines and sat him on the pine for not continuing that route as the kick is away it's gonna be franco harris on the left side of the field nine seconds left you may say nine seconds isn't a lot of time td but with gail sayers anything can happen yeah, and we saw it back in the club championship voltrax using it with chris johnson does joke have one in him we know he's gonna do a little handoff to gail sayers here let's see what happens cuts back inside but he'll be taken down at the 30 yard line Oh, no, and that will take that it to time. zeros on the and clock, 14 to six. Joke with the lead. TD, this Five. first half, it sort of comes down to two big things. The pick six from Pavin on the first play of the game, and the fact that Pavin had two drives inside the 30 yard line and only came away with six points. Yeah, definitely, you know, and the story of Joke's career has been defense, 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 and here in the semifinals, a chance to go to the Madden Bowl, it's been Joke's defense. Does Pavin have an answer in the second half? We are at halftime in our second semifinal of the day for the right to take on Decroft to be Madden 20 champion. It is 14 to six on the legs of Gale Sayers. Joke with the lead. As we know, Joke's one of those guys that typically has plenty to say. He has been mic'd up. Let's listen in. Let's go! Guys, make sure you head over to the Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube for access to each and every match from the Madden NFL 20 Bowl, as well as every match from this Madden Championship Series season. Make sure to subscribe as we update throughout the week. Right now, you can see matches from the group stage onward, and if you miss anything from today's semifinals, that'll be uploaded shortly. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel is the official home for VODs of all the best matches. Take a look at the season that Joke has had so far. Tyler Davis, three top fives in three majors. How about you make it four here at the Madden Bowl? By far the best year from any player this year has been Joke. Fifth in the Classic, third in the club, third in the challenge. Here he is again in the Final Four, but you saw on that chart, he just can't get to the finals. He has before back in Madden 17, he lost a skin bow in the finals. He's made five Final Fours in 11 events. Could this be his day, man? It will, he's got a great advantage right here, getting the ball to start the second half. Ooh, Gail Singer spins off the tackle, and then he goes into full stumble and bumble mode. He'll only pick up two. Yeah, he almost broke one right there. If he was able to kind of click the stick down and keep his guy up, but fortunate play for Pavin right there. Back to the single back wing flex close, Joe goes. It's Gail Sayers trying to get outside, and there goes Sayers on the edge as he'll get inside the 50-yard line. Big run for Gale, 10 carries, 97 yards. That's easy math, 9.7 per carry. 
This is the thing about Joke. When he finds something that works, he's going to stick to it, and he's not going to give up. And he's sticking to the single back wing flex close dive. It's been having a lot of success. Pavin doesn't have an answer for it so far. As this time, he'll try to go right down the middle, and he'll get one yard on the play. For Pavin, looking for his second belt back in Madden 19. He's the three-time Raiders club champion. This is actually a battle of two three-time club champions. Pavin, the three-time club champion for the Raiders. Joke, the three-time Cleveland Browns club champion. Pavin, the only one with the belt last year in Madden 19. Also took home a cool $100,000. Second out of nine in that single back wing flex formation. He'll give to Sayers, trying to find some room, but once again, good pressure from Pavin's defense. That's the defense Pavin needed. Way to stand up for yourself, and now a big third and nine. Look, Joke has a great kicker. Remember, he doesn't have a quarterback, so he spent a lot of his cap on his kicker. So he only needs about five yards here, and making a two-possession game would be huge. Pavin cannot allow more than four or five yards here. Be an NFL record from here, 64 yards. Third and nine, Sayers trying to get outside. He this. He'll pick up four. It'd be a 60-yard field goal from here. The game says let's go for it, and Joke's going to bring out the kicker. 60 yard. This is not easy to hit. Let's see if Joe can clutch up. This is a big kick. Didn't hit it all the way at the top of the meter. Doesn't have the leg it. though. That's it why we take does. Them 17 to 6. Let's go. To Joe giving a pat on the back to the That's special teams. And you hear him. That's why he invested in his kicker. That's a huge kick right there. This game is going exactly how Joke wanted. Now he's up two possessions and he can get on defense. So that was a big kick right there. A 60 yarder by Joe. If there's one thing we know, TD, we know that Pavin not only is a fighter, but he has the offense to break out a big play and change the complexion of the game. Without a doubt, man. This kid, in my opinion, a top five offensive player in the game. I, he, there's no quit in him. He's in that gun bunch. Let's see if he can cook up. Joke is mixing his coverage as well, so Pavin's got to kind of counter it, find an answer. Let's see if Pavin can find out one of those, find one of those deep balls he's been waiting for. It's been a lot working underneath as Vic just throws that one away. And if he is face a second and ten, the pressure from Joke's defense getting to Michael Vick as he's back into that gun bunch. It's been a nice combination of mixing in the pressures and coverage downfield. Only a three-man rush this time. From Joke. But here comes Frank Clark. That's a big man. A power specialist coming after Michael Vick. Go get that man, Frank. Two Go plays in a row. The story of this tournament, in my opinion, is that Frank Clark power specialist. That's two plays in a row. He almost had a sack. Frank Clark is causing havoc in the backfield. Every single play, just watch this guy when the ball is hiked. He's such a problem to deal with. Pavin double teaming him there, so he's doing a good job, but then he still sheds. So it's a big third down now for Pavin. Pretty sure Joke staring into the camera there was trying to stare at a Frank Clark soul. Tell him to get after the quarterback. Third and ten, Vic outside the pocket. He was looking for the Come crosser. On, it was taken game. away by Joke. On. And one more big hit. Kellen Winslow needs defense. some fly one paper one because more. he dropped that key catch. Come on. Oh, man. There's that delay fade again, and Joke is all over it. Now, this is a big decision for Pavin. You're down two possessions. Do you punt the ball and play defense, or do you go for it? You know, this is a big decision in the game. This could be, you know, a, an appearance in the final, and he's going to punt it. He's going to take the conservative route and trust his defense. Anger punting this one away. I know somebody who's feeling a little bit of anger right now. It's Pavin as that's to the 32-yard line, so it's going to be on the shoulders of that defense, TD, and we talked about it yesterday. Pavin known as a great offensive player out of that gun bunch, but we saw during the club championships last year, he played some what? amazing defense out of that 3-3-5 three, three, as Gale Sayers just rolls over the top of the defender and picks up another two. <laughs> Gale Sayers getting glitchy on him, <laughs> falling forward for four yards. And right now, if you're a joke, you're in complete control, man. You just want to use all this clock you can and get out of the third quarter. It's a quick pause of the game. And I actually I love that attitude from Pavin. He had a brief moment where he went. Should I talk to Lee Goss about this? Should I bring it up to the admins? And he went, nah, man, you got to get your stop. I love that attitude. Yeah, and you see Joe going back to this dive. Pavin has not had an answer for it. He's, it's getting down to the end of the game here. Pavin's going to have to stand up. He's going to have to play some run defense versus single back. 
You see Joe Fusen that entire play clock. It is Gail Sayers. Big hit left side. They're going to give him no gain on the play. Third and five upcoming. And it may be Pavin's tournament hopes on the line because Joke is using every second of the play clock. And that's what separates good from great here in competitive Madden. You know, game management, clocking, and Joke, you're going to see, he's audibling around here. He has no intent to hike the ball until the play clock is under three seconds. He, he re ideally wants to get it under 40 on the game clock so that it can be the last play of the third. I don't know if that will be possible, but he's definitely going to stick to the ground game here on this third and five. And that eye formation, Sayers dotting the eye. And he will take the carry, try to cut outside. He's got a first down and more. Merton Hanks will bring him down. But the bounce outside from Gallup and Gale, the Kansas Jayhawk picks up another first down and Joke in firm control. That is a huge run right there from Joke. Gale Sayers gets to the edge on that little dive, okay. all that speed. And now uh, Joke is going to be in control of the game, going into the fourth quarter with the ball. It's going to be difficult for Pavin to come back, but there is time. He just has to hold Joe he, on this draw, on this possession. On like these three downs, he's got to get a stop. He cannot give up another first down or it'll be very difficult to come back from. TD, if there's one thing we've learned from this tournament, is that anything can happen in the game of Madden. We've seen the impossible come true as that will be the final play of the quarter. And right now, Joke is five minutes away from a spot in the Madden Bowl final. 17 to six behind Gail Sayers. Guys, this is unbelievable, five left. We are gonna step aside for a quick break for viewers on ESPN2. When we come back, it's the fourth and final quarter between Joke and Pavin. For those of you on Twitch and YouTube with us, it's time to head to the fourth quarter. It's presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh no, no, don't pressure me. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zeros. Zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. For those of you watching us on Twitch, make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account for a chance at a 95 overall Gronk. And if you tune in for an hour today of the Madden Bowl, you'll get a random 98 to 99 overall player from the top five of the NFL draft class of 2020. Welcome back, everyone watching over on ESPN2. We are five minutes away from knowing who will play for the Madden 20 Championship. It is Joke currently with a 17-6 lead. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis along with you, TD. Joke's defense has been stellar. His run game has been consistent. He looks in firm control. He's in complete control here as we start the fourth. And, you know, Joke just really dominating on the ground. I'm surprised. I thought Pavin would have a little bit more for run D. But I think that goes to show Joke preparing for that run defense has been in the lab all night. And he's found something that really works with that single back wing flex close halfback dive. I mean, as you said before we go to break, safe to say this set of downs is the tournament life for Pavin? Oh, without a doubt. He cannot give up another first down. If he does, the clock will go down all the way to about the two-minute warning. It's going to be very difficult. So these next two plays are huge for Pavin. Give me that! It's no! Safe ball oh, Eli Manning, the 10 k Why Eli Manning get that? Fumble. Absolute lumber in the middle of the defense, but Joe comes up with a fortunate recovery. Oh, my God. The person Joe spent the least amount of cap on, his quarterback, Eli Manning, the 10 cap possibly makes the biggest play of, of his year for him, recovering the fumble. <laughs> oh my goodness. But for Pavin, that's exactly what you needed. That was the turnover and an unfortunate break, but there's still life. You gotta forget that, you gotta move on to this play and you gotta hold him here on this third and 13. Get it out on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag 10 caps matter. Third and 13, stretch run left side for Sayers. Reed makes the tackle, keeps him out of field goal range, and Pavin stays alive. But what could have been if he was able to get to that fumble? Oh man, two big plays right there. And you see on that play, the, the pancake with that nasty streak that Joke has on his offensive line, 
made a huge hole. But, you know, the one criticism I would say for Joke and how he's such one of the best players, best defensive player, but his stick work is not always great when he runs the ball. And right there, it was a one-on-one -on -one situation. He could have made something happen after he got that pancake, but he's not. And Pavin's able to get the stop he needed, so he does have life. It's Tressway will try to pin Pavin deep in his own territory. This one's a good one. He'll get him to the seven yard line. So Pavin needs to go 93 yards to put a touchdown on the board with only 337 on the clock. But he's a passer and he's got the ability to break out some big plays. Can he solve the puzzle? That is Joke's defense. Ross was put out wide right. Only a three man rush once again from Joke as Vic will find the halfback. Jalen Samuels, we said he might get a catch today. He picks up nine. Nice little option right there out of the backfield to his halfback. We've seen Jalen Samuels make some big plays down the field in this tournament, but a nice little play there, but he's got to get moving second and two now. Once again, a four-man rush this time from Joe. As he rolls out with Vic, and he's going to take a sack, doesn't throw the ball away. Jerome Baker, MVP for the Joe defense. Just excellent defense. Pavin did a great job with his protection. He rolled out, but Joke had every route bag. There was nothing for Pavin to throw. And third and four now in his own 13. He's got to make something happen. Come on, man! Pressure Come on. down One goes Vic. This time it's Jadavian Clowney with the sack. Fourth and eight. Tyler Davis, this is your ball game. Pavin's been clutch all year, all tournament. Does he have one more in him? He needs this to stay alive. His season on the line, the game on the line. He needs to convert this first down. The defense from Joke has been stellar. Do they have one stop here to possibly seal a spot in the Madden Bowl final? Holt in motion, Vic in the shotgun. Three-man rush, waiting, looking. Pressure, looking right side, he's got Josh Cribbs, he's got a first down. He's been clutch all tournament long, and Pavin steps up in the pocket and does it again. A huge dot, he went with double crossing routes. Joke stuck with the one he shouldn't have stuck with because he was matched up. And then the one that came free wide open, Josh Cribbs on the sideline, and Pavin staying alive. 2.32 to go like the Bee Gees. Ah, ah, he's staying alive. Vic stepping up, looking right side. That's Torrey Holt one more time. Inside the 50. Good tackle for Joke, though. Keeping him in bounds and keeping that clock running. There is the runoff newly introduced in Madden 20. As we near the two-minute warning, Pavin will take the snap in the pocket, looking downfield. Nobody open. And he's going to have to throw this one to Torrey Holt. Little possession catch at the 31-yard line. It looked like he was going to throw it away, TD, but he picks up 17. What a risky pass, the gambling man, and he takes a chance and it pays off. And I'm interested to see if Pavin thinks about kicking his field goal here soon. Go make it a one possession game and play defense. I know you're gonna need that two point conversion, but I think he's gonna keep taking a couple more chances. Pick rolling out. He's got Winslow over the middle. Little indecisive, probably worried about the clock. He'll just pick up five with Vic and get out of bounds. Great stick work by Joke right there. That little option route with the Samuels was coming wide open. You saw Joke click on, and then Pavin got nervous, so he couldn't throw it. So he had to go out of bounds and, and, and take his loss or take his five-yard gain. But now, like I said, if you're Pavin, you might want to take about, think about taking your three here soon. I think he's going to take a couple more chances, but if it gets to about a minute, you want to kick your field goal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not what you want to do. Dwight Franey with the sack, and 11 seconds come off the clock. Minute 31 and counting, third and 10. Pavin down by two scores, utilizing a lot of time here to get set. Vic will drop back, three-man rush from Joke. Stepping up, nowhere to go, he takes another sack. Tyler Davis, it's oh, Jerome man. Baker with four on the day. And he, he accidentally picked the wrong play, and it's fourth down. There's nothing he can do, and Joke calls a timeout because Joke, Joke was a in field goal block. Oh my goodness! What a sequence of events, but Pavin is going to take his field goal. TD, we just almost had the second coming of the run commit. Joke comes out in field goal block, and Pavin had receivers all over the place. He does kick his field goal to cut it to a one-score lead, but that could have been disastrous. <laughs> oh, that was crazy because Pavin made a mistake and he was upset because he didn't kick the field He didn't press field goal then Joe came out and field goal block So it was a mistake by both guys Joe calls the timeout and now we're back to a, a game here because Pavin kicked his field goal So he does have a chance, but at first down we will win it for joke and it will put him in the finals 
Raider Nation, your three-time club champion is on the ropes. He needs three stops. Can't give him 10 yards to stay alive. He gets one. Merton Hanks with the tackle. Timeout taken. Yeah, this is big for both guys. This is the game. This is the drive. If you're joke, you're 13 yards to going to your second final ever in the MCS uh, era. Oh, man, something's got to give. It's Gale Sayers running left side, one man to beat, and Merton Hanks making the tackle again. It's usually been Ed Reed with that secure tackler, but so far it's been the Merton show. Yeah, great tackle in the open field right there. Nice run, too, and then a great tackle by Pavin, so both guys showing great stick work, and here we go. Third and five, the season on the line for Pavin. Can he come up with a stop? Choke five yards away from a Madden Bowl final spot. Pavin needing to hold him. Stretch run right side. It was Adrian Amos Jr. coming off the edge. Pavin has a chance. Down by eight, 46 seconds. He's going to get the ball back. Oh, boy, here we go. Pavin did what he needed to do. He's going to have a chance. you got to be careful. Joke could fake this, but he's not going to. He's going to kick it away, and Pavin is going to have a chance for a money drive. We here in the Madden community, big shout-out to our guy, RG. He'd be saying, we got the guap drive coming, ladies and gentlemen. 41 seconds on the clock, and it is Pavin. No timeouts. Needs to go. I mean, an easy 71 yards. I mean, psh, who doesn't have 71 yards worth of play in 41 seconds? First down and 10. Vic in the pocket. Blitz brought by Joke. He avoids the pressure, but no one's open downfield. How can Joke bring that much pressure and there still be nobody open? Yeah, just uh, what a play. And I'm having flashbacks, Nick, of that game we saw in groups that came down to the wire when Joke accidentally ran commit and Pavin won the game at the end. But Pavin needs eight points, so the two-point conversion he's going to need as well. Here comes Frank. Frank Clark up the middle, forcing him to throw it away. 29 seconds left. TD, I, I can't help but say I, I was feeling the same thing. And listen, he does need a two-point conversion. But we have seen Pavin definitely has the clutch gene. Oh, without a doubt, man. He's been clutch all year. Does he have one more drive in him in the final four of the Madden Bowl? <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm on the edge of my seat. Here we go. I'm always sweating, but that's just because I'm out of shape. Third and one. Vic outside the pocket. He's got his corner out. That's Torrey Holt. Did he get the feed and bounce? He did at the 45-yard line. Step out. one, get on the other side of the 50. I'm going to say it now, guys. I think Pavin and Joke is becoming one of the best rivalries we have in the sport. I mean, I feel like every game these guys play, and there's only been two, but they've both gone down to the wire, and they were such big games. And you can't get, the stakes can't get bigger. We're on the grandest stage here, the final four of the Madden Bowl, and it's coming down to the last play of the game eventually again. 24 seconds. Blitz picked up nicely. But once again, no one opened downfield. Here's the part I'm loving about how Pavin is running this drive, TD. He's really making his reads and getting rid of the ball quickly, even if it's a throwaway. He's being very smart about it. And if you see him, he's kind of taking his time before he calls a play. He's thinking, he's kind of putting the controller, you know, up in the air, thinking about what he wants to do. He went with that post route right there. Joke was all over it. So as you can see, he's very methodical. He's taking his time. He's very in control of himself. And he's really got to be thinking about what he's doing. It's, very, it's a chess match going on right here. Still needs 45 yards. Step one, need to find the end zone with 20 seconds left. Clock down to 18. Vic outside of the pocket, looking downfield. Nobody home. He'll run out of bounds, pick up another seven. But seven seconds will come off the clock. Third and three. More importantly, he needs 38 yards. Just a great defensive job by Joke right there. He didn't give up anything over the top. He lurked that crosser out. He lurked the corner. He allowed Pavin to run. And if you're you're fine with that, you want to let Pavin run with the quarterback. Obviously, you don't want to get him, want him to get out of bounds. But oh man, third and three now. We'll see if Pavin goes to his bread and butter. He loves that wide receiver post play. He loves double crossing routes. Let's see what he cooks up. Locked down to 15 seconds. No timeouts for Pavin, so it's got to be in the end zone or get out of bounds. Frank Clark was looming. Vic, he'll run outside. He will get out of bounds, pick up another seven yards. Nine seconds remain. TD, how many more plays can Pavin run? He's got two plays, maybe one if he scrambles and takes a lot of time. Joke switching up the coverage brought the heat right there. And it, this is tough. I mean, 31 yards to glory. You got two plays. You got to have a deep corner out, a deep cross, or you got to hope Joke makes a mistake, really. This is very difficult. Oh, man, here we go. 
Nine seconds on the clock. First and 10. Choke bringing the blitz, trying to end it right now. He'll get rid of it, out of bounds. 31 yard line still, six seconds remain, Tyler Davis. If this isn't crunch time, I don't know what is. This is what you play for. This is why we watch. Six seconds left for a shot to go to the finals of the Madden Bowl. Does Pavin have something cooked up his sleeve? Vic trying to get away. He's set. And Joke has one more win from his first oh, belt. A defensive masterpiece. Jerome oh, Baker, man, four sacks on the day. 17 to 9 is your.